Hello everyone. Uh, I hope you are doing fine. So one of my colleagues uh, came to me with an issue uh, which we encountered while we were doing screaming frog audits of all our websites. So this issue says pagination URL not an anchor tag. So if you look at the detail, uh, at the details of the issue on screaming frogs website, it says a URL contained in either or both the rel next and rel preview attributes of the page are not found is a hyperlink in an HTML anchor element on the page itself. So in order to understand this issue, you need to understand uh, pagination in detail. Uh, so for that, I would um, uh, I would like to share Google's official um, guidelines with you. So if you look at this uh, guidelines from Google Search Central website about pagination with real next and real brief attributes, you would understand this issue. So for example, you have an article uh, which where you need three pages, like it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's an article which is suitable for three pages, not just one page. So for example, if you look at this diagram right here, new studies prove that, so if these are the page two, three pages, let's say, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you are in page one, and then two, three will be clickable, and then there is a next button as well. And then there is a previous uh, uh, attribute, uh, a previous button, and a next button on page two, and then there is only previous button on page three. Why is that so? Because uh, there are no other pages, so the a next button does not make sense. S similarly, uh, product category series is also suitable for real next and real preview attribute. So, how do you tell Google that these pages are a series of pages? Like this is not a single page. It is connected to page two and page three. Similarly, when you have a product page or category page, how do you tell Google that these are a similar category pages? Like how do you tell Google? So there are, according to Google and according to SEO practices, there are three options. Um, 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 I will discuss the two or uh, the single one option where we are facing problems. So the first option is to leave whatever you have exactly is is. Paginated content exists throughout the web and we will uh, as for the Google if you look at them and they will continue to strive to, uh, to give searches the best result regardless of the page. So if you if you do not add any markup, it, it, it's okay. It's completely okay. But we are SEOs. We strive for the best. We are in a competitive world. So we, we need to make sure that Google understands what we are trying to tell them. So for that purpose, we will give a little bit hints to Google and how do we do that? How do we do that? We just put um, uh, real next and real previous attribute in our pages and our series of pages. This helps Google understand more accurately uh, our page and index it more accurately and serve to use it the most relevant page, which is commonly the first page. So how do you do that? So if you look at an official example, which is perfectly suitable for new beginners like you as well, so, uh, for example, we have these three URLs, example.com slash article story, page one, page two, page three, page four. So let's say we have these four pages. On the first page, what we will do is we will include in the head section this tag, if you can look at it. What does it say? So link rel next, example.com, page two. Remember, like if you can look at the details, we are including the URL of the page two, right here so it's the whole url just putting a rel next attribute okay in the head of the page and then that that's all you need to do um, when you when you when you want google to understand that on the second page what we do is because when you are in a second page you the user would want to go to the previous page as well and to the next pages as well so what you do on the second page is put a previous link previous a rel previous attribute uh, to the first page to the first url look at it it's exactly similar so it's the same url right here and then we have put a previous attribute it, it's the second page and then the next attribute is linking out to page three because this is the second next page in the um in this series so 
what would you do on page three it's a little bit quiz for you yeah so <laughs> let me answer it for you so on page three you would put a previous tag to page two and then a next tag to page four yeah that's very simple and on page four you would because there is no next page you just put a previous tag to page three so that's all but there are some other points which are coming from um, in google officially so the first page only contains rel next and no rel previous marker because there is no previous page it's the first page so it does not make sense to put a rel previous markup pages two to the second to the last page should be doubly linked with both rel and rel markup just like you just like you said in above example the last page only contains markup for rel preview not rel next it's, it's it's completely logical as well because there are no there is no next page there is only previous page rel next and rel previous values can be either relative or absolute URLs. so and if you include uh, is allowed with the link tag and if you include a pass link in your document rel really pass will resolve according to the base url so i guess that's that's not that much of a um, an important point uh, as far as i can see so this remember these only need to be declared within the head section not within the document body so that's that's one point that you need to consider uh, so i guess if, if if you look at the official um uh, page official guidelines much of your problems will be fixed now let's 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 um uh, go back to our original page so what does it say a url contained an, in either or both the rel next or rel previous so in our example one of the url either is it the page two three four or in the previous attributes so there is a url contained in these of the page are not found is a hyperlink in an html anchor element on the page itself so it was not found is a hyperlink in an html anchor element on the page itself so remember the tags that we discussed one of the url in those pages it was not found is a hyperlink is this hyperlink was not found in in on the page itself so paginated pages should be linked to with regular links to allow user to click and navigate to the next page in the series so you just like i showed you here there should be links for the user as well and if you're putting links to the uh, attributes to the search engines there should be links to the user uh, as well so this this thing you need to consider and then they also allow google to crawl from page to page and page rank to follow uh, flow between uh, sorry to page rank to flow between pages in the series google's own webmaster trend analyst john Mueller also said something like that so if you look at this you would get it So just like we heard Google, it's not simply a complete thing uh, to just put rel previous and rel next attributes. You also need to put links like these as well, like one, two, three, next, previous one, two, three on the second page, and then previous one, two, three on the third page, if you have a three page series. So you need to put real links on the body of the page yes rel previous and rel next attributes are not needed in the body of the page but these kind of links are needed and it, it it is best if they are on at the end of the page like this just like shown here in example of google so when you do this when you have proper rel previous and rel next attributes on every page of the series and then you have these buttons 
um, uh, where you can uh, where user can click on every page of the series and then there is a next and previous uh, button as well i guess the problem will be f fixed itself so yeah thanks thanks for watching and i if there is any other problem just just head me up i'll, I'll, I'll try to fix that as well thanks